watch the Reza Aslan uh, talking yes. to the, that guy with uh, what was his name? Ben. Uh, what's this guy? He got very I, ph. I forgot his name, but he's famous. <laughs> so long. he's very famous quickly. He became very famous within like a year. Not Shapiro. Not Ben Shapiro. No, 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 no. no, no. no. It's it's Iranian, Iranian, two Iranian uh, guys talking to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you did yeah, you have any thoughts that. on that conversation? Did you watch that? Oh, I was pulling my hair out with Rizzo Aslan's comments. Like he was he's comparing. A, he, he was compa- is he like he, acting like he's dumb or like he's acting like um is he, he is he this naive? He's his naive. He's like, oh, the money will get to the people. We gotta make sure Iran gets money because it will eventually go to the people, right? He's just so. He's, what what do you so, think? His what's his intention? Like, can you believe? No, this he guy? has. He's he's a. He's a leftist. <laughs> so, so he's, I uh, mean, okay, so he um, he is so anti-Pahlavi, right? That So for people who don't understand, Reza Aslan, um, a lot of people here might recognize Reza Aslan because of his understanding that Islam is all good and, you know, there's no problem with it and it could be completely, you could completely live in an Islamic country that, um, is modern and everything like that. And he constantly uses countries like Malaysia and Indonesia as examples, right? So that's what most people recognize it. But um, us Iranians also recognize him because of his associations with a group called Nayak, which is a group that a lot of Iranians hate because it was uh, acting as a lobbyist group for the Iranian regime as sort of Iran. But also now they hate him even more because of the, the recent show that Reza Aslan was on. And a lot of people realize how wacky this man's views are. Uh, um, some of his views that a lot of people didn't um, like was the idea of if you remove sanctions on Iran, the money will go to the people. A lot of people are understanding that it's mostly was going to benefit the government, but that's not the that's not the part that I was going to offended by because that is a complicated thing. Like whether the, I I would I would forgive somebody for not understanding where the money goes if you remove the sanctions on Iran. Okay. The part that I was like, what is this man on, was the part that he was suggesting on the show that that the Pahlavi dynasty that before the revolution was as bad as the current regime. That was he was yeah, he was using boy. he was using yeah. completely like false false numbers. You know the the research uh, clearly shows uh, the uh, Fall of Heaven book. They did the really. He did, you know that book, right? The Fall of Heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh, so that. they've done like I, I think something like only three hundred people were actually murdered by the Pahlavi. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think, like, I think, I think, I think the Islamic, re- the Islamic Republic there's no kills. Yeah, the Islamic Republic executes more people in one year than the entire uh, Pahlavi dynasty combined. I, I feel like com- these guys, a lot of them who are like even Trita Parsi, they never lived in Iran properly. So they have such a false idea of how living in Iran is. I, I really don't think a lot of them live there. Uh, no, I mean, so Susanna just... has never lived in Iran. She understands these things. So what do you think? Where do you think the Reza Aslan is coming from? I think they, they, I think they, had, uh, they have had the boon? mindset. Huh? He's a paid no, boon. no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I don't know. I, I try not to. He's the top, he's top five English speaking. I would say he's top five English speaking person uh, far of Iranian background in the media. Isn't he? I don't, he's top I, don't, five. I, I try to be charitable. I try to just assume that's actually your belief rather than, you know, I, I don't know. I don't try to guess these things. I don't try to figure out people's intentions. I could only deal yeah. with the information that I have. Right? So I don't know. Yeah. So definitely yeah. you fell more on that side of uh, PB. But, you know, I was reading the comments. A lot of people fa- still falling for Reza Aslan's nonsense. It's just... Yeah, yeah. He's, he's very, very effective. With the, very yeah. effective with the fallacies, like you know, uh, the YouTube yeah. fallacy he uses a lot. I noticed that you taught yeah. us, you know, yeah. yeah. There was a pa- but the Pahlavi to be fair, to be fair, that the other guy, <laughs> I think the other guy who's so this was on valuetainment, right? This was yeah, on valuetainment, yeah. right? It's a good name, and yeah, but <laughs> to be fair, yeah. I, yes, yeah, very, it's a very popular show, and I don't think he did a good job uh, tackling. Reza Asla. Hmm. Yeah, he's he's not. I mean, I wish somebody like you had bigger platform, like the way he does. You would have done a better job. Yeah, him. So this yeah. was the show, and this was. He seems like a genuinely nice guy, but like I don't think he has the kind of 
academic background that you need to tackle somebody like Aslan. That I think you would have tackled Aslan much more powerfully. Is that all in English? Yeah, yes. It is. It is. Oh, okay. Well, How yeah, many I want to check this out. It got millions. It got three point eight million. Yeah, right? what? I want to check this out. Yeah, this is not a this is this, this is not the wait that's not the video the main one it is. oh yeah it is it is it is yeah, yeah. Huh. you support okay. a country that hates so basically he does and you know it just the the left is in such a bad position like mentally there they're just like they are part okay of the i don't think it's fair to say <laughs> i don't think it's fair to say that about the left anymore the left has grown a lot compared to before right um, they have much more nuanced takes on Islam compared to before. And the vast majority of the left also um, has came out in support of the people in Iran instead of taking the government. I was at a side. University of Toronto um, rally and you should have just heard the uh, communist, uh, not communist, but definitely proudly leftist professor there of Iran background, just like completely talking about, you know, I don't know, those, uh, again, fragmenting society into different uh, minorities who are all victims. You know, he, she's like doing the, uh, you know, uh, entrepreneur, uh, what do you call it? Uh, grievance yeah. entrepreneur, grievance okay. entrepreneurship. <laughs> okay, so but she, she was attacking Pahle. She was attacking free. Uh, and I'm like, wow, this is hijacking this freedom movement because you're talking about 43 years ago, which we have an immediate enemy. So why are we going back? So this is like yeah, but those are rare. But those are r becoming rarer examples. Right mm. now, most leftists are taking the position of supporting the Iranian people versus the government. Right now, so it's it's it, they have improved a lot. Yeah. So I'm I'm you're sure right. you're going to yeah. be able to. Find, yeah. I'm sure you're going to be able to find examples too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, there was yeah. another professor a, a week after. Uh, he said, "Oh, I, I used to be part of the leftist movement too, but he was making a lot of. He was saying, you know, we've made a lot of mistakes in." So kind of, uh, you know, dividing the the country that way. Hmm. Yeah. 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 So, you're gonna always, you're always gonna find loons on both the left and the right. You know, and I, more, I generally more on think the right, but yeah. <laughs> more on the good. I, I'm happy that you think that. I appreciate that. That's good. Thank well, you. I, I, I was definitely a trumper for four years because I just liked his policies. I liked how he killed Qasem Soleimani, and then I looked into his background and his kind of. Uh, I, 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 Sam Harris, kind of listening to Sam Harris, I just, I, he shook me because I'm mm -hmm. like, oh my God, I just fell for this guy for four years mm -hmm. because he killed mm -hmm. Qasem Soleimani. I'm like, okay, he's on the right side of history. He's clearly, because mm -hmm. the Democratic Party has historically supported, like, you know, they send millions to billions, right? Mm -hmm. To Iran yeah. uh, under Obama, which Obama finally said that he was, he feels like he made a big mistake there. Well, mm -hmm. um, he made a bit mistake no he obama admitted that he made a mistake when during the green revolution he didn't come and support the people that's what he says he made a mistake mm -hmm. yeah he did the opposite he supported the regime by giving them cash which is what reza Aslan well they okay so the cash thing is complicated because the cash was money actually um, owed actually owed to the government right yeah it and wasn't to, the, I, uh, to the people of iran because that's people of iran before the revolution that's their money and you're giving well, it back to the regime that's not the people. Yeah, but but international based on international that's the, laws, that's, the that's issue. you can you can't just go distribute it to the people. Right. The government is representative okay. of the people okay. based well, on, on international on laws. But even if, if 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 you had let's say you know uh, uh, Taliban or any other uh, you know crazy cult, you know we can in history we can have okay now we owe them money so. Power well, that's why that's why people don't want to recognize. Time. Well, that's why people don't want to recognize Taliban as the right. government yet, right? Because, because if yeah. you do legally, would, then yes, you would have, have to give to, the money to Taliban. Yep. But that's yep. just, that's just international law. You have to abide yeah. by international law. Yeah, but, and it's yeah. it is it's it's problematic for exactly the reasons that you're pointing out, Mo. But the issue is that theoretically, we take this approach where it's like, hey, you're the representative of your government. Our government technically owes your government these things. Therefore, we're going to deal with you, even in those crap situations. I mean, yeah, is it really supposed to probably be for the people of Iran? Like, yeah, 100%. I don't disagree. But the debt isn't wiped away unless the current Iranian regime gets it. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.